Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, due to the increasing importance of chips, lithography machines, the core equipment in the chip manufacturing process, have become the focus of attention. As for the Dutch lithography giant ASML, its every move has attracted much attention due to US restrictions. Because ASML stands at the upstream of the semiconductor industry chain, even if the global chip situation has declined in the past two years, its performance has basically not been affected. But what I didn't expect was that ASML's performance suddenly exploded recently, and the president made a public statement about this. Recently, ASML announced its weekly report for the first quarter of 2024. Revenue, net profit and order volume were all far lower than market expectations. The explosive performance also caused the stock price to fall sharply. US stocks once plummeted by more than 11%, and European stocks fell by more than 6%. According to data, ASML's revenue fell by 22% year-on-year and 27% month-on-month, and its net profit fell by 40% month-on-month. The point is that new orders in the first quarter were 3.61 billion euros, far lower than market expectations of 5.1 billion euros. In the fourth quarter of 2023, the order volume was as high as 9.19 billion euros, which fell by nearly two-thirds compared with the first quarter. Not to mention, ASML's expected second quarter sales are still lower than market expectations. You know, ASML is not only the largest company in the Netherlands, but also the technology company with the highest market value in Europe. It is also the only manufacturer in the world that produces EUV. It can be said that all major wafer manufacturers in the world are basically inseparable from it, especially the production of processed chips below 7 nanometers, which are inseparable from ASML's EUV lithography machines. In addition, most of the mid to high end immersion DUV lithography machines also come from ASML. Therefore, ASML's performance has been rising, but even so, ASML still experienced a sudden explosion in performance. The reason for this situation is that on the one hand, the global chip situation has been declining in the past two years. Most major wafer factories have slowed down the pace of wafer factory expansion. Even the global wafer foundry giant TSMC has postponed photolithography. Delivery of the machine On the other hand, the United States continues to expand restrictions on lithography machines. After the sales of EUV lithography machines declined, the demand for DUV lithography machines in the mainland market increased significantly. In the third quarter of last year, ASML's revenue from the mainland market was as high as 46%. However, due to pressure from the United States on the Netherlands, ASML will no longer be able to ship advanced DUVs to Chinese companies starting in 2024. If ASML had not shipped more DUV lithography machines to the mainland market last year, I am afraid that it would be difficult to achieve an increase in performance in 2023. Although we can still ship to Chinese companies, the order volume has dropped significantly, and the order amount has even dropped. 
It is understood that in the first quarter, ASML lithography machine sales dropped from 113 units to 66 units from the previous quarter, and new orders also fell sharply. Not to mention, the United States has recently put pressure on the Netherlands again, requiring ASML to stop providing after-sales maintenance services for lithography machines to Chinese companies. If this restriction is implemented again, I am afraid that the impact and losses to ASML will be greater. Because no matter what the reason is, not continuing to provide after-sales maintenance of photolithography machines is tantamount to ASML unilaterally violating the business contract. Then, Chinese companies have the right to demand the repurchase of photolithography machines, which would be difficult for ASML to bear. But if it cannot accept the repurchase of lithography machines, China cannot recognize ASML's lithography machine patents. This will promote the breakthrough of China's domestic lithography machines, and maybe it can quickly realize domestic substitution and occupy ASML's share. What's more, Shanghai Microelectronics has been working on advanced lithography machines. Once mass production is launched, ASML will no longer be a problem. Therefore, at the ASML performance analysis meeting, when the media asked whether it would stop providing after-sales maintenance to Chinese companies, the president of ASML said that there's currently nothing that can prevent China from providing services for lithography equipment installed in mainland China. The president's official statement fully shows that ASML understands how serious the consequences of this matter are and will even exceed the shipment limit of lithography machines, because it will affect the lithography machines sold, and more importantly, it will affect ASML's sales reputation. Recently, ASML has proposed the idea of moving out of the Netherlands, which is actually a disguised form of pressure on the Dutch government. The Dutch government is more aware of ASML's importance to it, so it quickly allocated 2.5 billion euros to retain ASML to improve the infrastructure where ASML's headquarters is located and will also provide ASML with other tax benefits and other conveniences. Not only that, Dutch Prime Minister Rutte also visited China for the first time in five years. One of the agendas was to communicate on issues related to lithography machines and seek solutions for ASML. This timing is just after the United States exerted pressure to expand restrictions, and its significance is obvious. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated that the farce of lithography machines is about to end and it may be difficult to implement restrictions on the maintenance of lithography machines in the United States.